it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today's project is this one, and this is for the Inspire Create Challenge group that I am one of the design team members of. Um, it's our fourth challenge, and it's a colour challenge, which, bearing in mind I'm in, in the middle of my Advent um, series, was an interesting challenge because the colours are Whisper White, I can cope with that, uh, soft sky I can cope with that for Christmas flatty flamingo and island indigo those were the two that were a little bit of a challenge but I've embraced them um, and this is the result and I kind of went for cute because if those are the colors and it's Christmas I think cute's the way to go so this is using the seasonal chum stamp set and the matching um, framelits which are seasonal tags um, and obviously I've gone for the for the little reindeer um, now remember if you get these as if you get both of these as a bundle you save 10% remember to use the bundle code though um, otherwise you won't um, so and they are so cute um, now they're obviously meant to be tags I've cut them apart um, but yeah so now, I'm going to do this in a slightly odd order. I have used a bit of Wink of Stella, I say a bit, quite a bit of Wink of Stella, um, on the um, Flirty Flamingo. So I'm going to deal with that first because that's one of those, let's just spritz it. Apologies for the slightly dirty um, rough paper here, but just to protect my background a bit. So this is my Wink of Stella. Make sure it's well shaken up and just tap against something reasonably stiff um, to get it to flick out. Now I'm doing this first so it's got a chance to dry before I put the card together. So I will need the Wink of Stella again but that's that bit done and I don't know if you can see it's weird light today I'm sorry um, in fact let me see if I can change that know if that's any better probably um it's it's either very bright today or very overcast and it can't decide which so i'm having to sort of just go with it but can you see that that's got a bit of yay yes you can oh i love it so that's that done i will pop that to one side don't need my scrap anymore um right let's get stamping so i have already got my little reindeer mounted up and I've got my um, Memento Tuxedo Black. Uh, you could use Archival. Um, we're not doing much in the way of colouring, so um, so long as you're careful, it really doesn't matter which you use. So I'm just going to stamp that down. Now, remember, as ever, all of the dimensions and the products I have used will be on the associated blog post, which is linked below. So do hop on over to that. Um, so that's that done. Then Soft Sky, this is the mat that I've used here. I'm going to do some punching or die cutting from this uh, because you can only see a small bit. So let's not waste the bit in the middle. So the first thing I want to do is a little bit of stamping so that I can then die cut around it. So I'm using the... Merry Christmas, let me, the Merry Christmas from the stamp set because it will then fit in the little tag that is also in the stamp set. So it doesn't really matter where I stamp it so long as it's you know, in from the edge. And there we go, and that's in Island Indigo. So that's my Island Indigo stamping done, although I'm actually only stamping in Island Indigo and black but I'm including the other colours. So let's bring in our dies. And these, as I say, are all from the, from the uh, Seasonal Tags die cutting set. Uh, and I've also got a Firstly Flamingo and a Soft Sky Stamp and Write marker. If you don't have Stamp and Write markers, but you have the ink pad, then I would suggest you get a blender pen because you can then use the blender pen to pick the ink up from the stamp, from the um, ink pad, just um, 
just I don't know if I've done it in this one yes so just press the lid so open it up as in unclick it press and then you'll get um, a pool of ink that you can pick up with your blender pen uh, rather than uh, having to invest in the whole of um, in the whole of a set of, of stamp and write markers um, so my brain has stopped suddenly uh, I am going to take my flirty flamingo and I know you know Rudolph has a red nose well this isn't Rudolph so it's having a flirty flamingo uh, nose and what I'm doing is I'm just bouncing the colour down rather than rubbing it uh, that way you're going to get less in the way of uh, pilling and you're also going to get less in the way of any um, black coming into the colour so that will settle down and become a little lighter and then I'm going to do the same technique except a little bit of swish in the middle but the same technique for the ribbon um, which is goes around his neck so we're going to have to do the back as well because I am going to use both the back and the front of the image so yeah so we are in November and today's my birthday uh, so yes I'm probably no, not going to be anywhere to be seen near um, stamp and ink today because I'm hoping my dear husband will have planned an exciting day for me he's normally very good at these things so I have no idea what he has in mind but hopefully it will be a fun day well I'm sure it will be a fun day because that's what he will have planned so that's the colouring um, I will come in after we've die cut it with some more Winker Stella on that um, and I've just realised I need my soft sky ink pad although I'm not going to use it for stamping but let's get it while I remember so magnetic base plate and my really I do need to clean this um, mat but however so actually I might cut that down a wee bit before we start because I don't need the other bit now so let's lose that and then it gives me a little bit more room on my base plate and just pop that down now it's always worth allowing the magnets to decide exactly where you are going to cut because they have a life of their own sometimes and frankly it is better that you give in there we go yep it's settled um, so we also need to bring in our mat and this I'm going to stamp uh, stamp cut with the Merry Christmas as far down the tag as I can get it uh, because I want to add a bow but I still want the Merry Christmas to be seen and then I want the snowflakes and they can just pop there top cutting plate on and away we go so let's now the snowflakes are um, may need to go back for another cut so I will do that before I forget because they they are quite fine um, and depending on your big shot you may find that you need to die cut those as in run it through the big shot more than once so that I know will be fine let's just no nope, we're all right good I did put it back and forth a couple of times just to be sure uh, but it's not worth getting out the precision base plate which as those of you who have watched me for a while know I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with because um, it's it does kind of impact on your cutting pad so yeah you have to be I like to be a little bit circumspect about when I use it 
So let's just pop out those little bits. Again, you could bring in your, your dye brush, but for a few little bits in the middle, I don't think it's worthwhile. So pop those in my little basket thing and put them away later. Don't need that, don't need that, that's rubbish. So we have got our tag, some bits of pieces we don't need. So this I am going to just fussy cut the remainder of the cutting and it's, you know, it's easy cutting, it's nothing exciting, um, so nothing to get too excited about, just leave a bit of a margin round the, um, round the stamping and you will be fine. So there we go, nearly done. So let's bring back in our now nearly dry um, Ferti Flamingo and I need two bits of Island Indigo um, Ombre Ribbon because uh, they're going to go round there. Uh, this one is to tie a bow and this is one of my what I call double bunny bows. So it's two loops and just that through now you can get all excited and do twist it so that you've got the same color uh, at the top and because you can I am but you do need to twist the ribbon in order to do that because it will naturally not tie with the um, the ribbon shading in the same direction so just have a bit of a play but it's a it's a good ribbon for for twisting. Um, it's not too thick. It's fairly forgiving. So is that going to be too big? Let's make it a wee bit smaller and pull. That's better. Right, just to trim my ends. Now there is a thing about having the ends of your ribbon longer than your loops. Um, I think I am part of that thing. If the loops, if the ends of the ribbon are shorter than the loops, so if they were there, it just looks a bit, bit weird, certainly to my eye. And we, I mean, we know my eye is a bit weird anyway. So fast fuse, and I want to be about an inch up. Did I say that all the dimensions are going to be on the associated blog post which is linked below? Probably but I can't remember so I'll say it just in case. Um, right I want the island indigo the darker bit at the top for no other reason than I do and then bring that round and actually that's, I've cut it just the right length so I haven't got a huge margin for error. That looks about right. Yep. So I'm now going to stick this onto the base because I've got fast fuse sticking out the back. Um, and you will have seen earlier in the week that I've got this new trick for adding fast fuse to the mat. Whoops. And apparently not breaking the edge of it. Um, because then you have a bit of a, you can do a bit of a hover, um, which I will show you in a minute. So, because I use very narrow mats, um, you can then line up everything so that you know it's square before you press down. Whereas if you have it with the fuse on the back, it, you don't have that, I don't find you have that sort of margin of error. Uh, right, so nearly, nearly there. Uh, I want a dimensional on the back of that and that I'm going to pop down in the corner there, a bit further up. Then I need a glue dot on the back of my ribbon because life is too short to tie a bow in a ribbon that you've wrapped around a card. So put the, stick it on with a glue dot. It's only a card, it's not as if it's going to have any force put on it, so 
let's make life easy for ourselves. Right, a bit of Tombow on the back of our snowflake. Or certainly our small snowflake. Pop that there. Then my, oh, I know what I forgot to do. So, sponge dauber. I found that putting, let's, let's show you what I found. So I thought putting those straight on there was just a bit stark, whereas this is a bit softer. So, and all I've done is take soft sky and a sponge dauber and just very gently gone round the outside. Um, you do need to do a bit of coming in underneath for the legs. And I would come in underneath, not over the top, because then you don't run the risk of getting ink where you don't want it. And this is a bit like on um, if you're using um, alcohol blenders, um, alcohol pens, they are blends, which are available today! should have said. In fact, I should probably have done a blends project today in celebration. Uh, but I didn't, because my brain wasn't working. But yes, so if you use alcohol markers, um, quite often you'll find, uh, particularly on manga drawings, that um, there is an outline um, round the outside of the black line. You'll find that there is a, a softer grey or something like that. Um, which just sort of finishes it off slightly. And that's that's the theory that I'm going with on this. Um, and because Soft Sky is one of the colours that we are using today, it was a it was a good way of bringing in that that look and Soft Sky again. So my card base. So all I need to do now is find my fast fuse again and pop some fast fuse. Whoops. And you can see on this why I'm saying come in from the back, because this is all the mess um, that would otherwise have been in the way. So that needs to go about there. And then dimensional, dimensional somewhere. I very carefully put underneath the basket my mini dimensionals, because I can put one on that leg and one on that leg. And so yes, I may, be, may have to remember to do a blends project tomorrow. It's a day late, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. We don't have blends in the colors that are in this challenge. So um, I think that might be why I didn't do it. Uh, right, now here's a did you know moment. Did you know that our mini dimensionals are exactly the right size and shape for the back of this snowflake? Have a look at that. Isn't that brilliant? So I've put a mini dimensional on the back of that snowflake. And just pop that up there at a jaunty angle. Now, um, card base. And um, I might I might use wet adhesive because I haven't used it for a while to stick down my mat. And we've got lots of layers of card between the glue and the surface. So there we go. Right now, the only other thing I need is to add a little bit of Wink of Stella um, on here. And on his bell. And that. A bit more there. That is him done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please do take part in our challenge. Um, the link for it is uh, on my blog. Um, it would be lovely to see your projects. They don't have to be Christmas, uh, so you don't have to do the challenge of how on earth am I going to use these colours in a Christmas project. Uh, so you can make life easier for yourself by um, just doing 
a non-Christmas project. Uh, but it would be lovely to see your entries. Um, it's it's a nice little group um, and it is growing. So, um, yeah, it would be great to see some entries from you. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to subscribe, the subscription bo uh, button is in the bottom right hand corner. Um, over on my blog, you will see that if you go onto the web version, as opposed to the mobile version, there is a link in the top of the blog um, for subscribing to getting email alerts for my videos. Um, so, or I say for my videos, for my blog posts. I don't always have a video with my blog posts. Um, so I do do extra blog posts um, over and above the ones that are linked to videos. So if you want to catch those as well, it's worth subscribing to my blog. Um, and all you need to do is put in your email address and the only person that will know about it is me. Um, and I don't share your email address or use it for anything other than that. Um, if you want my newsletter, you can subscribe to that on my blog as well. Um, anyway. Thank you very much for joining me again today and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!